Somnia is a project that's trying to bring the kind of experiences we're used to on Web2, things like gaming and social apps, fully onto the blockchain. And according to their internal testing, Somnia can handle over a million transactions per second, which is a big part of how they plan to make that happen. They've kindly sponsored this video so we can dive into what they're building. So let's start with the basics. What exactly is Somnia? At its core, Somnia is an EVM compatible layer one blockchain that's been designed for large scale consumer applications, especially in areas like gaming, social and entertainment. The team claims that it can support over a million transactions per second with sub second finality. We'll get into the technical design choices that make this possible a bit later on. But first, let's take a look at the background behind the project, which has played a big role in how the tech has been shaped. So Somnia was developed by the Virtual Society Foundation, a nonprofit organization initiated by M Squared and Improbable. The story really begins with Somnia's founder, Paul Thomas. He started in finance at Goldman Sachs, but left in 2012 to join Improbable when it was still early. By 2020, Improbable had developed tech that could support tens of thousands of people interacting in the same virtual space. That's when Paul started thinking about how to bring that kind of experience fully on chain and the idea for Somnia was born. And through Improbable and M Squared, Somnia has access to 270 million in ecosystem funding backed by investors like A16Z, SoftBank, Marana, and others. The team set out to build a blockchain structured around four core components. The first is Somnia's consensus model, which they call multi-stream consensus. Most blockchains have a single chain that different validators contribute to and transactions are added in a fixed order. Now Somnia takes a different approach. Every validator publishes their own blockchain called a data chain. These chains don't coordinate with each other and don't include any built-in security checks. They're simply streams of data. The actual consensus happens on a separate consensus chain. At regular intervals, it takes the most recent update from each validator's data chain, basically the latest block that they produced, and locks those into a single block on the consensus chain. From there, Somnia uses a proof of stake based system to arrange all those updates into one agreed upon order so the whole network can stay in sync. Somnia says this setup makes the system more scalable because validators don't have to wait for each other before publishing new transactions and opens up some optimizations that we'll see shortly. Then there's transaction execution. Some high performance blockchains try to speed things up using parallelism, basically running unrelated transactions on different processor cores. But Somnia points out that this approach breaks down when a lot of users are interacting with the same contract or trying to update the same piece of data, which is what happens during busy moments like a major NFT mint. Somnia takes a different route by designing their system to take advantage of what's called hardware level parallelism. Instead of spreading the work across different transactions, it focuses on optimizing each transaction individually, allowing the processor to break that one transaction into smaller parts, run them in parallel, and then piece everything back together. So the third part of Somnia's architecture is all about how it handles data, specifically how it moves huge amounts of it around the network. Somnia noted that when you're processing hundreds of thousands of transactions every second, just sending all that information between validators becomes a serious challenge. Somnia tries to reduce that by compressing what's repeated. When people are calling the same contracts or doing similar actions, a lot of the data ends up being nearly identical. So instead of sending that full information 
over and over, Somnia replaces it with smaller codes that represent the most common patterns. And this is possible because of how Somnia is structured. On most blockchains, a different validator proposes each block, so there's no consistent memory of what was already shared across the network. But like we mentioned earlier, in Somnia, each validator has their own ongoing data chain, and that allows the system to keep track of what's already been shared. So instead of resending the same information, it only needs to send what's new or different. Then finally, there's Somnia's custom database, IceDB. Somnia highlights that their custom database tracks exactly how much work each transaction puts on the system and uses that to set fairer gas costs. It also keeps frequently used data somewhere it can be retrieved and updated quickly to help apps stay responsive under load. All of this architecture came together during a DevNet test in November 2024, where Somnia showcased what what its blockchain could handle. They reported hitting 1.05 million transactions per second for basic token transfers, 300,000 NFT mints per second with 100 MS block times, and 50,000 Uniswap style trades per second. A few months later in February, they launched their public testnet, giving developers and users a chance to interact with the network directly. And that brings us to Somnia's ecosystem. On the partnership side, they formed one with Yuga Labs, the team behind Board Ape Yacht Club. Now they highlighted that the focus was to bring more interoperability to other side, Yuga's metaverse, and to give those NFTs additional utility inside Somnia's world. And that ties into something else that they launched recently, a platform called Playground. It's basically a creative sandbox where anyone can build and explore on-chain experiences, and people are using it to create mini games, social hubs, and virtual hangout spaces. Now, if you own a Bored Ape or a Grills Gang NFT, you can drop it directly into the world world as a playable character or even as an in-game item. Now, on top of that, over a dozen dApps have launched on the Somnia testnet, and these range from games like Maelstrom, a naval battle royale, to DeFi platforms like QuickSwap and metaverse projects like Playground. To support even more development, Somnia has partnered with Uprising Labs, a Web3 game publisher, to launch Dream Catalyst. It's a six-month accelerator program aimed at helping studios build and scale blockchain-powered games. Participating teams can tap into a 10 million grant pool and, beyond funding, also get access to mentorship, technical resources, industry connections, and support with things like marketing Marketing, scaling, and player onboarding. Registration for the first cohort is already open and a few studios have already signed up. Now, when it comes to Somnia's roadmap, both the mainnet and token are expected to launch later this year, though no specific date has been shared yet. In the meantime, they're gearing up through a mix of partnerships and ongoing campaigns to help grow the ecosystem ahead of launch. One of those is the Somnia Points program. It's a running campaign tied to activity across the network. This includes testnet usage, quests, and community engagement. Now looking even further ahead, Somnia says their long-term focus is on tapping into the existing Web2 gaming and metaverse audience. And they believe that bringing in Web2 developers and users will be key to making their vision a reality. And that's everything you need to know about Somnia's tech and what they've been working on over the past few months. If you want to stay updated, make sure to check out their socials and we've linked everything in the description below. Once you've had a chance to try it out, let us know what you think of the project down in the comments. Bye.